Hello, today I will be talking about movie review number 509, and this movie is called The Gray Man. The Gray Man is a 2022 film directed by Anthony and Joe Russo, who directed films like Captain America 2 The Winter Soldier, Captain America 3 Civil War, Avengers 3 Infinity War, and Avengers 4 Endgame. Yeah. So Anthony and Joe Russo directed The Gray Man, which is a Netflix films, RK films, and HBO films movie that I saw on July 22nd, 2022 at Escape Video's North Day 14 in North Day, Ohio. And this was a great movie. So when the CIA's top asset, his identity known to no one, uncovers agency secrets, he triggers a global hunt by assassins set loose by his ex colleague. Okay, so this is about a CIA, CIA agent named Paul Gentry, aka Sierra Six, who is on the run from sociopathic ex CIA agent and mercenary Roy Hansen upon discovering corrupt secrets about his superior. So, when Sierra Six uncovers corrupt secrets about his superior, there is a little bit of a panic from the bad guys when they realize that if, that if Sierra Six is able to tell the government about this, they will be in jail. So the bad guys decide, decide to hire ex-CIA agent Roy Hansen, who is somewhat of a maniac, to hunt him down and kill him. And this was a great movie. It's actually based on a 2009 novel of the same name by Mark Gerene, which is spelled G-R-E-A-N-E-Y. Mark Gerene. So this stars Ryan Gosling as Sierra Six, Chris Evans as Roy Hansen, and it features other actors and actresses in it, like Anna D. Armas, Jessica Henwick, Grace Jean Page, Bright No More, Julia Butters, Alfie Woodard, and Billy Bob Fulton. This was a good movie. Um, so yes, yeah, based on the book of the same name, and I won't say what happens, of course, but I will say whatever Sierra Sis found is very, very, very important that could take the bad guys down. And that's why he's being hunted across the globe by a road operative who's put a bounty on his head. And this causes other assassins to go after Sierra Six because of the bounty, and for also because he has the ability to take down the bad guys. And I like how it's called the Gray Man because Sierra Six is more of a shadowy CIA agent, and you know how shadows are gray. So I thought it was a great, great movie. And I heard there'll be a sequel to this movie, maybe even a spin-off. But yeah, it's on Netflix right now and I definitely recommend it. It is definitely action-packed, thrilling, and you won't believe how it ends. Yeah, it's pretty good. So that's my movie re movie review of The Gray Man. Please stay tuned for my next movie review. Alright, goodbye.